we're simulating going into a country that has some, some hostile intent towards the United States and the embassy has come under some threat. We're going to go fly in 60 Marines, uh, fast rope them out of E-22 Ospreys, spend less than two hours on the deck, basically get in, execute our mission, get out. The Marine Air Ground Task Force is part of the Naval Service, is ready to be America's crisis response force. Marines have been called in to evacuate uh, certain like key key personnel of that nation. I've got a picture of the ambassador. All right, some guys you'll see there. The ambassador's name is Bob. He's got an administrative staff there. Right there, sir. What's different about this mission and where the Marine Corps stands today, primarily the aircraft behind us allows us to go over a thousand miles. We can go even further than that. So in the past, when you see the mission, six hours later, first aircraft lifts or first action to go ashore. Now, the moment the warning order is dropped or the initiating directive or any type of indication that there's a threat somewhere, a significant threat, we can lift these aircraft and launch and we can be two hours closer to our objective area. There's no reason that like the Marine Corps at large couldn't execute these missions. What we have now and what we'll have going further is a force that's more lethal, that can go further, that can get there faster, and it can be more precise than it's ever been before to provide whatever the American people need us to provide.